I've traveled to five of the seven continents, and one of my favorite places in the whole entire world is right here in Ely, Minnesota. This city literally feels like you walked right out of a Christmas movie. So there's so much to explore, and we're gonna check out how Minnesotans stay sane in the middle of winter. So let's go check out some of the world-class activities that Ely is known for. Come on. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for having me in today. Ely truly is a magical place, and I know that you've been up here with your family for about 40 years, came and visited, and then sort of never left. Tell us more about that. That's true. Yeah, I came up in 1978 as a college student. I came up for the beauty of the Boundary Waters. I came up for a summer job, and once I was here, I was hooked. My family, some people have relocated into the area. Your family has opened this business, Chili Dogs. How did you guys get into the dog business, being well, in Ely? Our son, Jake, who's a big part of our business, is the guy that got us into it. So, so we've been in the business for 17 years now, and it's just great. Our whole family is in it. It's me and my wife, my son and his wife, the grandkids. We've got a great staff, so it's just a wonderful mix of the family and other guides as well and and then 90 some dogs that make the trips happen and you have people coming to to dog sled with you from really all over the world we do we do we've got a map on the wall there that shows where people have come from but it is by and large a minnesota crowd i mean heavily twin cities minneapolis and those are the same people that not only come up for dog sledding but also buy real estate up here and want to have a cabin or a getaway and now they're even moving into moving here year round because it's possible now. Yeah, you and I have done a few deals together where I've helped clients either relocate into the area or finally buy something after they've come and stayed. Um, so tell us what you expect for the, uh, the 2022 real estate market in Ely. It looks great. Here we are in January and it's busy and usually this time of year it's quiet. So it, what's happening now the last couple of years with COVID, it's taught people that they can live, a lot of people can live wherever they want and it's working out great. It's great for them, it's great for the town of Ely, it's great for the schools, it's great for all aspects of life in Ely. And one thing I love about Ely is it's like negative to the tow today and everybody's outside still doing stuff, so it's pretty yeah. neat. Well, thanks for having us out today, Jeff. Uh, we're gonna go and check out some of the dogs and see them take off, right? Absolutely, you're gonna meet the dogs first and then you're gonna see a bunch of folks start their, start their dog sled trip. Perfect. We had a great day exploring all the natural beauty that Ely has to offer. Thanks to my friend Jeff and my new best friends, the Chili Dogs, for showing us their facility. Whether you want to come for a long weekend in Ely or come and visit and maybe never leave, it's a great place to check out. So that's all we have time for on this episode of Financing the American Dream. I'm Amber Garofalo, zooming off until next time.